Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Monday, August 5th, 2024. Getting the week off started here, guys, as we got a short Monday slate, but breaking them down here with some big time matchups, possible playoff previews. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. I'll be in there chiming out throughout the day as we got first game up 515 Eastern time early start here in St. Louis. It's the New York Mets and the St. Louis Cardinals. Andre Palante on the hill for the Red Bur- for the Redbirds. Sean Manaya, the lefty on the hill for the Metropolitans. Mets minus 110, eight in the hook being the total. Interesting to note here, guys, this is a one game makeup game, meaning the Mets I do want to point out the schedule for the Mets. I don't think it's great in this game, but it's something to take note for this upcoming week, looking to bet the Mets. It might be a tough week for them. They went from New York to Los Angeles across the country for the weekend series. Now they're back to St. Louis for one game. Then they go on the road to Colorado and on the road to Seattle. So in this upcoming week, this is a tough schedule spot for the Mets. Now they have Manaya on the hill in this matchup. Last time out, the lefty went seven innings, just two hits given up, 11 to one strikeout to walk ratio. I'm looking to bet on Manaye in this spot. He's up against Andre Palante, four ERA overall for the 25 year old. But looking at his game logs, he has struggled a bit against better lineups. And sure enough, the Mets, you know, a top five lineup overall. They've uh, been pretty good since the All Star break, good against righties. Um, you know, the schedule spot for the, for the Cardinals, I don't think it's as bad. It's, you know, they had a day off and they're just starting their homestand a day early. Overall, though, I got to go with the pitcher versus lineup metrics a little bit more in this one. And sure enough, the Cardinals, you know, a bottom three lineup against lefties. They have lefty righty dichotomy here and against lefties, not really looking to bet on the cards. So, hey, I think they're going to struggle against Manaya. We'll list Sean Manaya as the starter for the Mets and bet the Mets minus 110 in the near pick'em price. Next one up, we got uh, Arizona Diamondbacks, Cleveland Guardians. It's 640 Eastern start time here with the Guardians going with Logan Allen, Zach Gallen going for the Diamondbacks. D-backs minus 115 road favorites, eight in the hook being the total. Something to note here, Logan Allen called up from AAA Columbus to make the start for Cleveland. In his MLB kind of, you know, overall stats here, near a six ERA earlier in the season, 35 walks. He had struggled with, he struggled with control. And sure enough, I think, yeah, he had three minor league outings and had seven walks in those. So it's not like he really fixed it here. I think they're just calling him up because they they need a starter, obviously. I wouldn't be surprised if he struggled here against the D-backs lineup that's top three since the All-Star break across baseball by weighted runs created plus. And they got Gallon on the hill, the 29-year-old out of UNC, the former Tar Heel, three straight wins in his last three starts. He's got a 3-5 ERA overall, 3-3 FIP. This Diamondbacks team, yes, hot since the All-Star break. Uh, good against righties. Looks like bullpen here. You know, they, they added A.J. Puck, the big lefty um in in the bullpen from the marlins he got the save yesterday but it looks like all hands on deck for him so overall hey arizona's won five of their last six just 15 cents here listing gallon as the starter that's how we're betting this one diamondbacks over the guardians heading to the lone star state up next for the lone star state battle it's the houston uh houston astros in the texas rangers andrew haney the lefty going for the rangers we get uh, Brown on the hill for the Astros. Minus 115 with Hunter Brown listed as the starter. Total of eight. Houston comes in. Yes, they lost two straight. They've lost five of seven. But it's it's two teams that have actually been struggling over the last week or so because the Texas Rangers have lost four of five and lost seven to nine. So something's got to give here. Haney for the Rangers. You know, he had a little stretch there where he was pitching pretty well. But it's it's kind of water under the bridge. You know, he's back to he he hasn't been all that great in his last couple starts. He's now just four and eleven on the season. The 33-year-old out of Oklahoma State, the former cowboy, he struggled a bit. Ten earned runs in his last nine innings. Now he's going up against the Houston lineup that uh, you know, been decent against lefties overall, you know, right outside the top 10 by their offensive metrics for the season. 
But really the story here, guys, why I like Houston in this matchup. One, the price isn't bad, minus 115. But also their starter, Hunter Brown. You know, a young kid, throws hard, changes speeds well. He recorded a win in eight of his last 10 starts. So he's been one of the hotter pitchers going over the last 10 starts. He's got 126 strikeouts on the season. Six innings, two earned runs last time facing the Rangers. That was just last month. They got a short uh, bullpen edge by my metrics. So just 15 cents here. I think we get a big starting pitcher edge. Let's jump on the Astros over the Rangers in the Lone Star State battle. Got one game left on the West Coast here. Short Monday show here. It is a short Monday card overall in terms of MLB betting. But uh, hey, again, a reminder. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content, guys. As we got a final game on the card, 10-10 Eastern, 7-10 Pacific start time. It's the Philadelphia Phillies, Los Angeles Dodgers. I wouldn't say degenerate special, but uh, I, I, I don't know. Two first place teams going at it. Possible National League championship preview here. Aaron Nola on the hill for the Phillies. Tyler Glasnow going for the Dodgers. Dodgers minus a dollar and a quarter, as high as minus 130 home favorites. Total of eight. Couple things to note here with the Phillies 21 games over 500. They didn't win yesterday to kind of break a losing streak. They have lost six of their last seven, but the win yesterday may be breaking them out here. They got at Seattle, at Los Angeles Dodgers, and at the Arizona Diamondbacks on this West Coast road trip. So they're, they're in the middle series here, and they got Nola on the hill, the former first rounder out of LSU. Go tag it. Six innings, one earned on one swing of the bat. Um, nine strikeouts versus the Dodgers back in July. So he had a really good start against them. Love that pass performance. And he's up against Glasnow here, starting for the Dodgers. Dodgers are now 0-2 in Glasnow's last two starts since returning from the IL. His numbers aren't that bad, but, you know, they have lost three units. He's going off as the favorite almost every time. So that's not necessarily a trend I like. I mean, he's 8-6 and six overall with a 3-5 ERA. It, schedule spot for the Dodgers. I don't love it. It's their first home game after a three city road trip. That's usually a fade spot here, guys. Their bullpen has had some issues. Blake Trennan, one of their bullpen arms, he's off of back to back days, likely not available. So a bullpen edge here towards the Phillies. Overall, guys, we're going to list Nola as the starter. Get him at a plus price, plus 118, risk 100 to win 118. Let's jump on the Phillies over the Dodgers. So that's it for the four-game card. Drew's Daily Diamond going daily, Monday through Saturday, right here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. In recap, we are on the Phillies, plus 118. Houston Astros, minus 115. Arizona Diamondbacks, 115 as well. And the New York Mets, minus 110. So four uh, or three slight favorites and one dog on the card, guys. Check out Premium Picks, wagertalk.com. Actually, these are the four client plays for today. So uh, thanks for watching the show, guys. Comment below. Smash that like button. We'll talk tomorrow. Cash those tickets.